Hi guys, it's uh, the Big G here. Just in case you didn't recognize me with these, uh, these whiskers. Yeah, I'm filming a feature film on the first week of January, a western called Blackwater, where I play the Irish ex-knuckle boxing champion who's become a padre. He's running the church there in Blackwater with all the uh, saloon owners, the sheriff and the outlaws, to be sure. To be sure. So that's why I'm uh, growing the hair and growing the whiskers. Now, uh, Paul McGuinness has contacted Paul Strange through Facebook uh, for me to send this video through for you, Yara. So Yara, uh, what I've done is I've got uh, some clips of I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here, a little bit of Big Brother at the end also, for you to look at. Now they're filming Big Brother, not Big Brother, they're filming I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here live at the moment. I believe you're watching it in UK as we speak. It's only about half an hour down the road from me in a place called Murrawalimba, right on the New South Wales, Queensland border by the Gold Coast. Um, so I hope you enjoy uh, hundreds of hours of footage. This is just a little, you know, 10, 15 minutes or so of it, of uh, Celebrity with a little bit of Big Brother. Now I'll send the link through to Paul, who will pass it on to Paul Strange, who will pass it on to Paul McGuinness for you, Yara, to have a look. And I'll probably pass it on to uh, Nigel and Neil and Naomi and Barra, uh, uh, Wayne the Wiz, so they can all check it out. So Yara, apparently you've got to get up early, make sure you get to school on time. So here's a little bit of um, footage for you to check out and have a chuckle out, Yara. And also the, uh, the movie I'm doing uh, that I mentioned, uh, that I play, uh, Patrick Flanagan, the Irish ex knuckleboxer. You'll see now as I'm talking to you, there's a, there's a few little photographs there of the cast uh, uh, that are going to be in the film there. You know, the Padre, uh, the saloon owner, uh, the sheriff and the baddies and the outlaws there. So, uh, without further ado, it's, uh, it's goodbye from me, Patrick Flanagan. And it's goodbye from Big G. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> I don't think there's anything I wouldn't do. I see my role in the group. Right? Ryan, shut up! I see myself as a leader, for sure. Definitely not a follower, definitely not negative. Positive leader. That's one of the things with survival. If you're somewhere and you've got nothing to eat, you'll eat your mates. If your mate's dead, you'll eat him. We bring news of your main course. All of a sudden. Oh, oh my God! I've Do everything on this to be honest it's so me it's, it's a joke Yeah, I do. Chopper there with there. Now we go up there, turn right, to the round. Who thinks that's a rip? He could have dove in, he could have ripped his guts right open. Captain, just a crash. Why not have two guns at the back? I can't row that way, so I'm staying I'm staying here. I can't row that side. I'm left handed, right handed. I cannot row. Don't do something to me, don't get paid back. First captain is Graham. Oh. <laughs>
Yeah. They're winding me up, I'm winding their up. We're in this environment, there are all these different ages of backgrounds, of personalities, and it's not, nobody's not going to be happy, happy, smiley families. Dear producers, I've been watching Graham's behaviour in camp, and I have to say it's been absolutely disgraceful. Please... Yeah. Double his money immediately. <laughs> He's brilliant. Look, I've got broad shoulders, thick skin. I'll, I'll be all right. And hopefully they will be too. But I'm sure they're going to leave here better people. <laughs> Steak and kitchen pie. What was it? Steak and kitchen. Steak and kidney pie. Steak no, kidneys. just be quiet. She had steak and kitchen pie, you know. So I got couple of little sneaky thoughts running through my head and I decided to say that I had been told that we had not won the bush challenge, the kitchenary. So we lost officially? Yep. Jennifer's come down telling us we've lost and I lost it for them. What it means is that we lost and it's because our leader, superstar, Big G, broke the rules. What it means is that we lost and it's because our leader, superstar, Big G, Wrote the rules. Celebrities, the winner of Kitchenary is Croc Creek. That's us. That's us. That's us. Oh, so in other oh. words, uh, Ben, you can calm down, mate, because, you know. Oh. I made it up like I told Get you. Get back on the medication, mate. Told Get you. back on the medication, mate. Hey. All right, time to go into camp and find out who's going to be in the next Bush Tucker trial. Let's do it. Some <laughs> news as well, haven't we? We do. You all know while we're here, the public have been voting for the head to head Bush Tucker trial, and I can tell you that this one is called. Creepy Crypt. Dave, the public have decided it's not you. Oh. So that means, Graham, oh. it might be you. Good. So from Croc Creek, it's between Jennifer and Graham. The public have decided the person from Croc Creek they want to see face Creepy Crypt is... Graham. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the public have decided the person from Snake Rock they want to see going head to head with Billy with Graham. Graham, sorry, is Terry. So, Graham versus Terry. I suppose we're all getting along. You idiot! It's full of food. You take it up, right? God, you're an asshole. There's no way who's going to beat me. He who dares wins. Um, I'm going to go for it. No, I'm pretty sure I'm going to win it. We will be sh leaving very shortly. I'm going in there to win for me, for the team, get the food, win the third time. And anyway, if I'm given a challenge, I, phew, I'm going to overcome it. I'm pretty glad that it is Graham. Um, I think that he does need to get in there and show that, you know, he's not all talk. It's a foregone conclusion, Dave. Right. Come on, luck in this. He, he reckons snakes are going to massage him. Cro cockroaches is not a problem. But a rats, he saw in. Ah, oh, well, they buy. I'm going to win. Nothing's going to overcome me. I'll have a challenge. Um, opposition is being Graham, and there's no way on earth that man is going to beat me. Ah, are we here? Are we here? Ah, hi, guys. Hey. Well, hello and welcome. <laughs> hello, Graham. Jump we're on here, over here. We're here. Hello, Terry. Hi, how are you? Come on in. Hello, Jump guys. up there. Why do you think Graham the public voted for you? The public voted me, well, apart from my good looks, magnetic charm, personality, and sort of talent, well, apart from that. Why has the public put you here? I'm pretty fearless. I'll do anything. Um, even if I don't like it, I'm going to do it. You think has got the upper hand here. Who's got the strongest? Moi. Terry, me. very confident. Are you going to have a win here, Graham? Foregone conclusion, the Pope Catholic. Right. We haven't eaten for two days, so I'm pretty competitive. This is the creepy crypt. Behind these doors lie two identical chambers. Within each chamber, you're going to find ten keys dangling from the roof. Five of these keys unlock small alcoves to the side of you. The other five do nothing. The aim of the game is to race against each other and find as many stars as possible mm. hidden behind those alcoves. Once you have found a star, you must deposit it in the chute on your right-hand side of the chamber, and it will slide out here. There's five stars to be found in total, one in each alcove. The first celebrity to get all five stars out of the crypt will be the winner. The winner will feed the members of their camp tonight. The loser will go back with nothing. It's got to be me. But of course, as this is a Bush Tucker trial, the chances are you are not going to be alone in there. Terry, you look a little bit concerned. I'm not concerned. I'm fearless. All right, then. Well, let's get you both into position. Those animals. I can wrangle animals. Okay, Rangers, let's get them in the creepy crib. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like this already. Uh, okay, I'm not liking it. Okay, I'm not liking it.
And we're off. Graham moving very quickly. Terry struggling a bit with the key. <laughs> That's cockroaches that has just joined you in there. Terry is absolutely frozen, but looks like Graham has his first ball. Ah! All right, mealworms have now joined you guys. Ah! Lovely. Graham seems completely unfazed, and now he's got his second ball. Ah! Chocolate coated mealworms. My favorite. Chocolate coated mealworms. My favorite. Please, I can't do this. It's horrible. And meanwhile, Graham's already looking for ball number three. Ah! Get me out of here. I don't care if I don't eat. Bloody me! Oh. Okay, Owen, somebody get me out of here. Okay, Owen, somebody get me out of here. I can't do this. All right, we'll bring in the rangers. We'll get you out of there. Give me some more bugs. I'm lonely in here. That's crickets that have joined you in there now. I don't want to come out until it's finished. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh! The bugs. Yes, here comes... Number five! Give me some bugs! Bring it okay, on! Graham, that's it. We're going to get you out now. We'll bring oh. in the rangers. Three today, four will be tomorrow. How are you Lovely. feeling, Graham? Lovely. Wow. Very tasty. <laughs> Graham, you really smashed that one. Let's start with Terry first. What happened in there for you? I, the bugs fell in my mouth to start with because I didn't expect them to fall out and I got confused and then they started biting me and then I was like, had all these things about what else could come out okay graham you got five stars that means a meals for camp tonight well done you guys are going to be very happy off you go guys and uh, we'll see you soon thank yeah. you some protein there graham <laughs> all right bye guys bye oh that was just the worst ever I really wanted to beat graham and like if i had stayed brave i should have we haven't eaten this is going to be like day three and we haven't eaten anything we've just been eating rice the winners, Croc Creek. <laughs> I couldn't do it. What'd you have to do? Graham won. Oh. <laughs> the two teams found their way down to a clearing in the middle of the jungle, and it was set up like a game show. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Hey. Yeah, I'm going down. Down. hello. Hey. Hello. Oh. Oh. Welcome. Oh, it's like a <laughs> And one team will win immunity against the first public vote-off. Now you must decide which two celebrities from your team will take part in today's game. And blue team, who will be competing for you? We've got Dave and Graham. Dave and Graham. One member of each team will be throwing a dart at our special dartboard. They'll stand in the yucky ocky, teeming with thousands of cockroaches. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yeah! Oh! Jesus Christ, are you sure about that? Congratulations, you have won 50 points. <laughs> Commiserations, that is incorrect. No. Orange have won. So, Graham had lost the challenge. He was gutted. And you know, at times like this, it would have been so easy for Graham's teammates to turn on him and kick him when he was down. So they did. <laughs> oh, we all have the theory that he, th he threw the game. That he's somehow, he's up to some sort of mischief. So you think I'm through this purpose? Are you alright, Pamela? Yeah, I'm good. Welcome back to I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of You forgot here. the name of the show there for a minute, No, didn't I didn't. It was, it was a little pause. pause. Little, right. little pause. Okay. Back to the trial now. I'm trapped in a cage. Pamela was about to face some very difficult questions. The first one being, how come you've turned into a man? Ready to fine. go? Yep, ready to go. All right. The old girl did it. Oh. <laughs> to win six stars, I can see six people. I've done it. Oh! I'm back a winner! You did yeah, it! Well done, get Pamela! Get Pamela! Get Pamela! I'm very happy that she did Yay. so well. She came back with six stars, so we get six meals. Was there a lot of room when you went down, or what was it? Oh, it was going right down. If I didn't, you know, answer all the questions, it would have kept going and going. What were questions? Were they co uh, general knowledge, were they? Just give you a chance to speak. Just give a chance to speak, Graham. No! 
No, I'll tell you later. Yeah. No, Please, that's I'm fine. sorry. That's cool. Yes, I'm that's not going to. Cool. No, cool. I'm not going to be spoiled. My challenge by you, Graham. Sorry. So you got six questions no. right, obviously. Graham. Graham. Um, leave her alone. We don't want to talk about it. How many we want to talk about? It. It's a nice one, Graham. Upsetting everyone again. I hope you feel good for that. You're having a go at me for asking her what oh, questions did he ask you today? You're seriously, you're really making her upset. We're very happy. We're very happy. Yeah. Oh, no, you're doing a great job. You are so, so proud. <laughs> it just, you know, it just makes everything difficult, bloody difficult. <laughs> Well, a bit of an overreaction, wasn't it? She, and the thing is, she didn't even do the trial. That Australian bloke stood in and done it instead. <laughs> what does he do? He's here every year. I know, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. He has a big ball of muesli. I know that in the mornings. <laughs> Very regular. <laughs> well done, Pamela, though. Well, he well it's, loose, it's, loosely it's, speaking. <laughs> six stars, six meals for camp. But well, once again, tough times for Graham in there. <laughs> yeah. Or as he's now known, shut up, Graham! Stop and, talking! And talking of the man himself, yesterday, the conversation turned to his younger days, his childhood and his career. And in the unlikely event that you've forgotten what he did, here's our Graham with a quick reminder. You've got to remember, my parents were in the military. I was born in the military, I was in the military, so I've been brainwashed from birth. So it's... Did you torture people did while you... you were in the military? Have you ever heard of a thing called the Official Secrets Act? I know Graham and I know that he is capable of having a regular conversation on a normal level if he so chooses. So, Graham's worried about the official secret act. If you want to ring the military police, then the number to call is 0113 496 0000 and add 07 for Graham. Lines close later on, calls after that time won't be counted, but Graham, hopefully, will be charged. Uh, back to yesterday now, when the group were prepared to face their biggest challenge so far. So far? <laughs> Celebrities, you will shortly be making your way out of camp for the overnight challenge to win immunity. I'm feeling confident, pumped, and we're gonna win it. We are there. It's a foregone conclusion. We're going for it. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> We've just arrived and there are like coffin-like beds. I'm really worried right now. Um, my stomach is like turning. Celebrities, you won't be spending tonight in camp. You will spend it here in one of these beds. The aim of the game is to stay in your bed as long as possible. You won't be alone in your bed for long. You will each be joined by a bed bug. The bed bugs joining individual team members will be decided by the other team. You can decide which bed bug each of them will face. Good luck and sleep well. Okay. Wow. All right, let's do this. Cockroaches, crickets, rats, rats snakes okay. and soldier crabs. When okay. Graham went to go for that last challenge, the only thing that I saw his face change was for rats. Let's, let's nice. God hope. Oh, no. oh. Graham has rats! Yes! No, I just don't want snakes. Oh my God, I swear if they give me soldier crabs, I'm jumping out, I can't do that. Graham, I'm scared. You've got crabs, Julia, but they're harmless. Oh my God, I hate crabs. They haven't even got any snippers on them. I got a lot of support from Graham today and I really appreciated that support because I wouldn't have gone through the whole ordeal without him. God, I'm so That's my Tash, uh, Skippy. Not one of your mates. I know he might look like one of your mates, but it's my... my Tash. So thanks to that challenge, half the group are immune, but for the others, the phone lines are now open for the very first time. Yeah, let's go in and give them the result of your votes. Here we go. Right, we're here. Uh, because the for the first time, the public have been voting for the celebrities they want to keep in camp. Ben, Dave, Graham, Pamela and Julia, you are all immune. Congratulations. Uh, the person with the fewest votes will leave today. The public have decided the first person they want to leave, I'm a Celebrity 2011, is... Billy. Oh. Get yourself ready. We'll see you across the bridges in a few minutes' time. See you, everyone. See you later.
<laughs> I want you to come on, grab a seat, grab a seat. Oh, it was a madhouse, wasn't it? There was one person in the group who united the entire camp yeah. against him right from the beginning. See, I if, think, you, see if you can guess who we're talking, we're talking about. about. <laughs> yeah, Graham. Yeah, you guessed it was Graham. He was just unrelenting. You could say anything. You'd call him an idiot. You could tell him you loved him, but yeah. he was going home the same guy. And none of us have ever met someone so relentless, someone just so oblivious to the things going on. Do you around. think he knew what he was doing? Oh, was he not? aware of the effect he was having? I went through all these weird emotions. I thought he might have been this savant great actor who's just been playing this role the whole time. And I think as it went on, I just realised he's a bit of a lunatic. So by the end, I loved him. I enjoyed him. Yeah. I loved just prodding him. And oh yeah, Graham, that sounds right to me, my Having friend. Having fun with him. Yeah, because oh, you. There was no way you're ever changing that man. Yeah. He is a uh, true bred Luno. <laughs> now, In the nicest way. Welcome to Big Brother Eviction Night, live from Dreamworld on the Gold Coast. So much fun to watch. Now, as a prize for winning one of the House vs. House challenges, the housemates think they're about to see an episode of The Daily Show that includes footage from House 2. Please, don't push your luck, girl. Yeah, no. Come on. I want Come House on. Husbands right. tomorrow night, though. Yeah, me too. Who didn't no, like no. the House oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. It seems that Dean has had enough of Graham's overbearing nature. A bit more flour and water, mate. That's a bit sticky. Oh, Graham, get out of my face. It's, Seriously. That's stick, Dean, that's sticky. Mate. It's bread. Hey, come on, Adam. What do you guys like you always get picking the kitchen? Oh, guys, I mean. Here we go. You know what? Yeah, you do it. You know, I, I sort of pile on in my own little way, and I, I'm who I am, and what you see is what you get. And I've got a fairly strong outgoing personality, but um, no, I like to, you know, involve people and I like to get involved. But I think people maybe, I don't know, think I'm taking over. Them. It seems that Dean has had enough of Graham's overbearing nature. <laughs> water, mate. That's a bit sticky. Oh, Graham, get out of my face. That's Seriously. That's stick, Dean, that's sticky. Mate. It's bread. Hey, come on, Adam. What do guys like you always get picking the kitchen? Oh, guys like me. Here we go. You know what? Here, you do it. You know, I, I sort of pile on in my own little way and I, I'm who I am and what you see is what you get. And I've got a fairly strong outgoing personality, but um, no, I like to, you know, involve people and I like to get involved. But I think people maybe, I don't know, think I'm taking over them a bit. 